a optical clicky switch at $150? How does this one stack up to say something like the Razer Huntsman? What up my awesome viewers, I'm Rio Gion and let's find out together. of this keyboard does take some getting used to because the numpad is placed on the left so at first I thought this is a left-handed keyboard do those actually exist anyways for the first couple of days when using the keyboard I try to place my hand and it always hit the numpad you know how like if you play games on a PC for a long time when you place your hands on a keyboard like you instantly place it on WASD it's just for gaming reasons but here for this particular keyboard my hands keep hitting that numpad but I would say after about a week I've pretty much gotten used to the layout and now my hands stop hitting the numpad as often it still does from time to time but not as often there's a small gripe but it's not something I would hold against the keyboard because it's just something that you would just need to take some time to get used to it so just from looking at the keyboard this is a premium looking keyboard and the font on the keycaps are not that bad in terms of how gamer it looks because I know Notice lots of people in the community hate that gamer look when it comes to the mechanical keyboards. Personally, I don't mind if a keyboard has a gamer look if it's a gaming keyboard in the first place because then that would really make sense. Now that I have opened up my beautiful Asian eyes and looking at the keyboard, I noticed that the numpad on the left is a great use of space because you can use the numpad as a cluster of macros. So if you're the kind of gamer that plays a lot of MMOs and you don't want a bank of macro keys on top of the keyboard, I think this is the perfect keyboard for you. So what I did was that I took out the number caps and I replaced them with transparent caps and transformed the numpad into a cluster of macros which is pretty freaking sweet because now the keyboard is multi-purpose the way how the aluminum plate is designed makes me think the plate is removable so I checked the box I don't find any screwdriver so I don't know but those of you that are out there that have replaced this plate comment down below let me know how it's done I'm pretty curious myself and then you have the floating key design which is always awesome in my book because it makes the keyboard so much easier to clean and personally I just really Really dig this look. This particular keyboard uses the LK orange switch which is tactile and clicky. This is a optical switch that has sensors that are digital which increases the duration of the switch but the thing I really noticed from these clicky optical switches is just how light they are to the touch. Towards the beginning of my mechanical keyboard search I always wanted a lighter blue switch. I love the sound, I hate how heavy the blue switch is. But then again, I've always been like a lighter switch kind of person. So if you're like a heavy handed kind of type of person, then you might not like this keyboard. Very similar to the Razer Huntsman, these switches have stabilizer bars, which looks really cool. But how the hell do they fare in the long run? That's what I want to know. Because I do not want to imagine the day when the keyboard is three, four, maybe five years old. And I would have to clean the keyboard. And somehow, some way, I have to deal with those individual stabilizers. I would not wish this upon my worst enemy, and so should you. This keyboard uses the cherry style stabilizers, which is really nice because this means I don't have to deal with those wires when taking out the longer keycaps to either clean out the keyboard or replace a keycap. The thing you give up with the cherry stabilizers is the extra level of crispiness when pressing the longer keycaps. On the Cold Star stabilizers, those longer keycaps deal so much much better but at the end of the day here's the thing guys it boils down to how often you clean your keyboard and your overall level of patience because if you're a very patient person you don't mind spending time dealing with those wires and especially those little plastic pieces that if you rearrange them the wrong way they're not gonna work you gotta rearrange them back trial and error over and over again until you get it right then the co-star stabilizers are the ones to go with and if you're someone that wants life to be easier just take out along the keycaps plop in another one then you go with the cherry stabilizers 
from looking at the keycaps, I believe these are thin ABS caps. When I look at the keyboard, there are definitely thin ABS caps because it's been a few days and the keyboard already see oils on the keycaps. On more cheaper keyboards, I think this would be alright, but they're asking for $150, which might be a little bit harder to chew. And then again, some of you guys that really likes the feel of these keycaps and don't mind spending that kind of money, this is the keyboard for you. The thing that I forgot to mention is that even though there's the numpad that's on the left, the layout of the keyboard is standard. This is a really nice thing because this means you can easily find keycaps replacement in the aftermarket. So there is the part of me that wanted the higher quality keycaps, but then again, I know that the K70 MK2 with the white PBT caps are going for 170 and I don't think that one has optical switches. So I guess it's the matter of how much do you value the optical switches and does the optical switches actually cost more money to make. I gotta admit, I wasn't quite impressed with the wrist rest because it's another one of those hard plastic wrist rests that looks cool but not very practical. And then I started using it and it felt great. The wrist rest, the palm, my wrist, my palm, it feels good. The size is good enough for me. I have pretty big hand. I really like the soft textured plastic. It feels really comfortable for hours long gaming sessions. I can go on hours gaming without batting an eye. When you look at the price the wrist rest is good but not great here's why because i know that there are other mechanical keyboards with a similar price point that has the wrist rest that's magnetic and it's soft foam which is a lot better on the one hand one could argue that this is better because you get to screw in the wrist rest so that it will just stay still it will not detach itself so i'm going to leave that debate to the comment section down below on the back of the keyboard, you do have two flip up feet with the rubber on them, so the keyboard will be nice and steady. Then there are placement slots for the wrist rest, and that's pretty much it. For those of you that are hoping for USB or audio pass through, then you might want to pass on this keyboard. The cable is braided and you do get cable management velcro, which is a very nice touch. The USB tip is silver, so I know a lot of you in the community will very much like that. The software for this keyboard is something that's gonna take some getting used to. I'm still not used to this software because I don't know. So like you know how when you buy a Corsair or Razer keyboard once you download the software, you basically know how everything works. For this keyboard, I still don't know how to customize the lights to the way how I would want them to. I'm not sure if there's layers of lighting effects like the Corsair keyboards where you can stack lighting effects on top of each other. You have 10 different presets, 1 to 0, so that's pretty easy because you just select the ones that you want to, but when it comes to making something, it's very hard because I only see two different effects, constant light and breathing light. Besides the lighting, you can use the software to make macros which is more straight forward because you just create the combination that you want and you assign the keys to enter the combination. This software is not for someone like me who just wants it super simple, set it and forget it. If you're someone that likes to spend a really long time trying to figure out all of the little bits about the lighting effect in software, then this software is the one for you. This is easily love at first type, the softness of the switch, the sweet melody of the click, and I truly feel like I'm flying through the keyboard. This is a winner for typing and I think it's easily one of the top typing experiences I had in a while. It's right up there with the Razer Huntsman. I think the two keyboard uses the same switch. The transition from key to key is buttery smooth. The travel with each key press is precise and dare I say razor sharp. Anyways, this is a amazing amazing keyboard for typists and if you're willing to shell out the extra cash and have this kind of typing experience then I really think you do get your money's worth based on the typing experience alone. H here's the thing, there are people that pay almost $200 for DOS keyboard which only uses traditional Cherry MX switches without any lighting effects, without any gimmicks. Anyways, I stalled long enough, here is the typing sound of the keyboard.
For $150, it seems to be a direct competitor to the Razer Huntsman. On the one hand, you do get a wrist rest and this design is really clever because you can double up the numpad as a macro row. They basically use the same switch and honestly, the thing that really drives me away from this keyboard is the software. I really think they should have made the software more user friendly. If they don't have layers of lighting effects, they should patch in that feature to remain competitive. And if the faceplate is removable, then they should release different face plate or better yet have custom face plates for people that are willing to spend the extra cash to get a keyboard that is unique to them. I remember the gamer versions of the DAS keyboard doing something very similar to that. So for me, with the price of $150, I would pass just because the competition seems better. However, if you can snag this keyboard for a discounted price, I would say go for it. I'll provide links to the keyboard and the Razer Huntsman for you guys to check out. These are affiliate link so if you guys click on the link and buy the keyboard it would really help me out make more of these awesome videos for you guys if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button below don't forget to ring that bell to become part of the mighty notification squad last but certainly not least you guys stay awesome